It, it's not often we see performances from Hugo Lloris like the one that we saw today. I think at the start of the season um, and at the start of Conte's reign as well, he's been, been pretty decent, but he's not long yeah. ago that he signed a, a brand new deal. And I'm not saying that as the cause for his performance today because correlation is not causation. I'm not saying that. But there seems to be a bit of a coincidence and we've seen this pattern before with players signing new contract and their performance just dipped, Jamie. Yeah, no, I don't think that's the case with Lloris, to be honest with you. I think he's just had a, he's had a bad day. Uh, he's made a couple of mistakes. You know, he'll be kicking himself. You know, you don't win a World Cup um, and be the type of player that when you sign a new deal, you take your foot off the gas. That's not in Lloris' uh, mind at all. He'll, want to, he'll, he'll be annoyed today with, with what he's done. Um, I think it's a case of there's just no confidence in the side defensively. There's no communication. There's no leaders. And the problem is then everyone else gets edgy. You can see when we're on the ball, when we're, you know, when we're defending as a team, people are losing players, that people are losing their positions. That's down to confidence and that's down to organisation. Wolves have that in abundance. That's why they keep clean sheets. Do, do you Tottenham think, don't have it. Sorry, Jamie, do you think that the players, Spurs players, are a little bit unsure of what they're doing? Because I look at Davidson Sanchez and at times he looked like he was neither here nor there. Do they look maybe a little bit lost to you? Yeah, well, of course, yeah. I mean, Sanchez looks lost every time he plays. I don't know how he plays in a Spurs side. I don't know how he paid that much money for him. I, I wouldn't play him in a National League side the way he defends. You know, he looks like he's got Adidas stand finders on every time he gets the ball. He just wants to boot it up the field. And his defensive, I mean, his defensive ability, I don't know who's making these signings and I don't know what the recruitment is, but it's been absolutely shocking and it's been shocking at Tottenham for years. They look lost at the back. Again, there's no leaders. Eric Dyer is the only one you'd say is a leader who will actually try and organise a defence. The rest of them... I won't pick them in a pub side. Martin, I don't know if you share the same views of Davidson Sanchez and some of these other players. Well, maybe not as strongly as Jimmy's views, but I, but I take his point. I take his point. And, and, and mistakes are being made defensively week in week out then you really have to have a think about it recruitment is something else is absolutely right and it becomes vital uh, in today's game it's vital in anybody's game but particularly today to try and get to try and get your recruitment right so just let's let's have a look at the situation that uh, Conti finds himself in he's gone in there um, a, a reasonable start you know we're winning some matches not getting beaten for a little while and then suddenly, you know, you're starting to really find out about your players now as much as anything else. And again, I'm getting back to my point. Not, please, don't throw this one up to me, not really trying. You just mentioned there, Michelle, about does Sanchez know exactly what, they're, what he's doing? Or there's a worry. If the, if the instructions from the manager, particularly this manager, are not clear to you, then I'm, I would be really, really surprised at that. You know what you have to do. Sometimes you get, because, because as a player, the manager, you know the manager's coming in, he's a big manager, he's, he's, he's looking for some things, and, he, and you start to think that he's looking for some things that you are not able to do. And that becomes your concern. Do your job. If your job is as a central defender, your main task is to win the ball, is to try and keep the ball out of, the, out of, out of your net and actually contest and compete for everything that you possibly can. Please do that. That's relatively simple. That, that should not change. That's your job. If you're a centre forward and your job is to try and score a few goals or link play up, I think the manager should know that and tell you. You should not be going out to that field not knowing what your job is. It's really, really that simple. Then the next task is actually doing that job. And if you're not up to that task, that's a different issue. What are some of the reasons why a player struggle with taking on what you're asking them to do and showcasing it on the pitch? They're not good enough. But, <laughs> well, that. That, that, may, that may well be the absolute simple answer to it. That could very well be true.